Episode 1 of The Fern and the Rose begins approximately five years after Glenn started taking care of Ray. Ray is grumpy and melancholic, his hair is completely whitened from stress, and he utterly fails to appreciate Glenn's devotion to him because he has a rather immature and incomplete view of the world and himself. Glenn's grades are suffering at school because he spends so much time with Ray and his classmates often mock him for spending so much time with the ghost of Intu. Unbeknownst to Ray, Glenn has been planning for some time now on taking Ray out for a picnic. Glenn knows very well that Ray will adamantly reject this idea. The outdoors qualifies as extremely outside of Ray's comfort zone, and his eyes are incredibly sensitive to light. In anticipation of this, Glenn has invented what he calls a solar shader, which is in principle similar to what we know as sunglasses. Another obstacle that Glenn faces is that the overprotective Lord Grant Fern would simply never allow this picnic to come to fruition. So Glenn plans for a day when Lord Fern will be away on a business trip. Ray indeed rejects Glenn's idea to go outside for a picnic, but is ultimately won over by the boy's ingenuity and thoughtfulness. He ultimately concedes. Another thing to know about these early episodes is that it is when Ray starts having some rather surreal dreams. These dreams have no images, textures, sounds, or colors. The dreams are made only of words, but not spoken words, of course, because that would qualify as sound. You could most easily understand what his dreams are like by Imagining the intentionality or the emotionality behind the words that you use. The energetic, abstract quality of words, if you will. To Ray, these dreams feel like memories of things that have never happened. You could say that these dreams give Ray a profound sense of deja vu. Sometimes when he wakes up from these dreams, he feels uncharacteristically happy. He even feels temporary reprieve from his legions of physical ailments. And that's a big deal because it simply never happened before, not once, in his first 22 years of existence. 